What if I told you there's a place so deep, so silent, so incredibly hostile to life, that only a handful of people have ever seen it with their own eyes? A place where the pressure can flatten a car like paper, and yet somehow strange life forms exist. Today, we're diving into Earth's most mysterious abyss, the Mariana Trench. But this isn't just a science lesson. This is a story of unknown creatures, unexplainable encounters, and the possibility of secrets buried deeper than we dare imagine. Located east of the Philippines and near the Mariana Islands, this deep scar in the seafloor is known as the Mariana Trench. It is the deepest known part of the world's oceans, stretching over 1,550 kilometers, about 960 miles in length, and up to 70 kilometers, 43 miles wide. Its deepest known point is called the Challenger Deep, which reaches about 10,984 meters, 36,037 feet, deeper than Mount Everest is tall. If you threw Everest into this trench, its peak would still be buried under more than a kilometer of water. At that depth, the pressure exceeds 1,000 atmospheres, roughly 16,000 pounds per square inch. To put that in perspective, it's like having 50 jumbo jets pressing down on you. It was once thought impossible for anything to survive under such extreme conditions. No light, freezing temperatures, and immense pressure. But in 1958, the Soviet research ship Vityaz detected signs of microbial life at around 7,000 meters deep. Later, more missions confirmed the existence of deep sea creatures, such as amphipods, small shrimp-like scavengers, snailfish, soft-bodied fish adapted to high pressure, xenophyophores, massive single-celled organisms, bioluminescent bacteria capable of creating their own light. These are not creatures of nightmares. They are evidence of nature's boundless adaptability. In 1960, Swiss oceanographer Jacques Picard and U.S. Navy Lieutenant Don Walsh made history aboard the submersible Trieste. They reached the Challenger Deep after a descent of nearly five hours. At the bottom, they spent only 20 minutes, but what they witnessed changed marine biology forever. They reported spotting what looked like a flatfish and other mobile life, challenging every previous assumption about life at such depths. The vehicle creaked under the immense pressure and communication was limited to sonar pings. Even in those few minutes, they saw enough to confirm one thing. Life finds a way. In 2012, filmmaker James Cameron descended solo into Challenger Deep aboard the Deep Sea Challenger Submersible. His dive lasted nearly three hours and provided some of the most detailed footage and samples ever collected from the trench. Explorers and deep sea researchers have cataloged only a tiny fraction of the trench's biodiversity. Confirmed species include giant amphipods the size of small lobsters, ghostly snailfish, gelatinous and adapted for extreme pressure, cusk eels with oversized heads and fang-like teeth, strange jellyfish and translucent octopuses that glow in the dark. Yet marine biologists estimate up to 90% of species living in the deepest parts of our oceans remain undiscovered. Could there be apex predators lurking below, completely invisible to our current technology? Or worse, what if there are intelligent life forms evolving in isolation for millions of years, totally unknown to the surface world? Exploring the Mariana Trench isn't just difficult, it's borderline insane. Here's why. Extreme pressure destroys most equipment. Temperatures near freezing make electronics unreliable. No GPS, radio, or sunlight reach these depths. Cost and logistics. Each descent costs millions and takes months of planning. Even today's best unmanned subs can only operate for short periods before systems fail. That's why we know more about the moon and Mars than about our own ocean floor. Does this help us search for aliens? Yes, and in a big way. Moons like Europa around Jupiter and Enceladus around Saturn have subsurface oceans beneath their icy crusts. Scientists believe these moons may have environments similar to the Mariana Trench. So if complex life can exist in such harsh conditions here on Earth, it increases the likelihood that it could also exist elsewhere in the universe. Every new species we find down there could help us understand how life begins and survives, not just on Earth, but across the stars. It might sound far-fetched, but hear this. Some theorists suggest that ancient intelligent species could have evolved in the ocean long before humans existed. Is it possible that our oceans hide not just creatures, but ruins? signals or technologies we've never understood. In 1997, NOAA, the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, recorded a strange, ultra-powerful sound called the bloop. It originated near the trench and did not match any known marine creature or geological pattern. Although later dismissed as icequake noise, the mystery of the bloop still sparked speculation. 
What if you've only scratched the surface? If this journey made you think twice about what's lurking beneath, then let's keep exploring together. Drop a comment. Could there be intelligent life in the trench? Until next time, stay curious, stay bold, and keep diving deep.